It's time for Power Duke. Come, get some. <laughs> that punctuation cracks me up. Why is there a comma there? But anyway, uh, greetings. This is an LGR blurb video about a compilation of Duke Nukem 3D add-ons that I had never heard of until it was recently donated to LGR. So yeah, I did an unboxing video recently where I showed uh, my getting this. And I mean, I'd never heard of it. Probably not surprising since this is a German thing. But at the same time, I'd also was just doubly surprised that I'd never heard of it because it comes with an H&K MP5 weapon add-on. Among many, many other things, uh, this is by no means unique in the sense that, you know, there were just an absolute ton of Duke Nukem 3D add-ons in the 90s that were sold in stores. And of course, you could most often download all of it on your own without having to, you know, buy a thing on a CD or whatever. But still, it was very much a thing that was popular for a, a moment in time where internet wasn't quite capable enough to distribute that much data. <laughs> so it was just easier to get a 650 megs or so CD-ROM and uh, install it that way. So hopefully it reads just fine. I, I don't see it really being damaged. Uber 650 megabyte level power though. I'm intrigued to see what is on here exactly and we're gonna try out that new weapon because uh, that's pretty neat. You just, I, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Duke 3D on the 64. So maybe it's going to be kind of like that in terms of having a, a machine gun. So, eh, I don't know. Power Duke. Let's install it. See what we can do. All right. I just had my morning coffee and took a Power Duke. Let's mess around with some Power Duke and see exactly what is on this mysterious CD from Germany. And, you know, I really don't know what to expect because there's all sorts of things mentioned on here and a lot of other games, I didn't quite notice this earlier, but these other games that it mentions, they're all uh, just filled in with X's, like Doom Doom 2, Dark Forces, Heretic. It, it's like DXXX, Dark FXXXX, Herit XX. So like, what's the censorship reasoning there? I'm assuming that's a, a I don't know, just not wanting to mention other games? <laughs> I'm sure there's some reason. Maybe it's a legal requirement. Speaking of legal, what in the world? The virus INF? What is this? Just, just stood out immediately. Virus warning. Is it is it saying that this is going to cause a false alarm on certain virus scanners? That's what it looks like. McAfee and other things. Yeah, might come up with this virus, maybe. And there's an INF file here to, I guess, put it on a safe list. How weird. <laughs> all right well that ah, looks like your standard disclaimer of uh, all this is free stuff and shareware and whatnot whatever <laughs> problems with starting it great okay so it looks like it's going to run this duke 8 executable there's some command line switches that's this there's also duke 24 it's larger i wonder what that's about hmm and we have this start batch file. Turn your sound blaster on. That's just a big old warning. And then yeah, it's just running that Duke 8 EXE. So uh, I guess we'll just do start. Yeah. Turn your sound blaster on, whatever. Oh my. Well, that's a lot nicer looking than I was thinking it might be. I don't know what I expected, but uh, yeah, look at that. They even went on with the... The shadows in there, it's pretty slick. <laughs> Very Paint Shop Pro. Uh, I like how the cheat codes has a baby bottle. It's got the censorship thingy here too. What's with that? If anybody knows why there's like stars, are they, is this some, it's gotta be some legal thing, right? Where they can't legally mention the name, the full name of like a, a program or whatever for some reason. That's just, I've never seen that before. Hmm. Anyway, these are just the classic cheat codes uh, for Duke 3D. Nothing, nothing crazy there. I don't know how, I guess this is back. Okay. We got sound effects. Ooh. Ah, what? Fading. <laughs> oh, this is intriguing. Oh. 
Uh, all right, so this is just telling you what they do. Kind of figure that out. All right, so the, looks like we've pretty much seen everything already. Let's just go back to it. Cheat codes, yeah, we already seen that. Build tips. Huh. Tempest's build tutorial. Wow, that brings back memories. Yeah, I totally friggin' downloaded this back in the day. <laughs> I think it was on AOL. Wow. Yeah, no, I totally remember this Star Trek Doors tutorial. Dang, dude. Oh, man, I was hugely into building things for Duke 3D. Brings back memories immediately. Oh, the subways, that was a pain. Always ended up killing Duke. <laughs> oh. The teleporters, that was super fun. Messing around with different sector effectors and trying to get the, you know, areas to function as different things. I love doing lighting most of all, but, you know, it was really fun and then making, I'll see, yeah, I was gonna say, there's gotta be a thing in mirrors here where you just sort of make a separate clone room and yeah. Of all the games that I have built things in, build is the one that I've probably used the most. Anyway, we're not gonna do that here. I'm just trying to see what's on the CD. So uh, top tools. Ah, there's the MP5 one. Clicking on it does nothing. Hmm, is this literally just a list? Yeah, you think it'd bring up a readme or something or maybe link to the folder. It's just telling you the folders. Well, that's cool. Again, a lot of these looking real familiar. I remember the level managers and I'm not sure if they're the exact same ones I used back in the day. Yeah, join group, I remember making my own, I made like a my own little mini episode of me and my friends' houses back in the day in Duke 3D, and you could just play through our homes. They were tiny, because we, we all had small homes, but the levels were, uh, you know, really cool because it looked like our houses, sort of. Art view, yeah, definitely. I seem to remember that one anyway. They all just sound familiar. Eh. Win RTS? So we got some remote ridicule stuff in here. And just straight up RTS files. <laughs> what in the world? Hi, Fabrips! Oh no. Gründlich zielen, dann trist er auch. All right. <laughs> well, if that's not the most German selection of remote ridicule sound effects I've ever heard. Oh, that's perfect. I apologize if they're saying something profane. I don't speak German, but, uh... <laughs> so if you're, in case you're not aware, RTS is a, not the genre. I believe these were introduced with uh, Rise of the Triad, maybe? And you'd like press the function keys or like an alt function, something or other. I, I never really played too much multiplayer back then, but I do remember remote ridicule being a thing. And it would not only like pop up messages at the top of the screen in text form, but it also have audio that played. So you could uh, either use the ones that it came with or make your own. They were like Sound Blaster VOC files, or I remember converting things over from Wave using Cool Edit 96. Anyway, it was just a thing, you know, and before you had like a uh, voice chat in multiplayer, you'd have like these that they would play. Oh my goodness. Wonderful. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah, and you'd get killed, somebody would kill you or whatever, and you'd have sound effects play and they'd be increasingly uh, obnoxious, I suppose, if you had the right ones installed. Whatever. Oh, I didn't mean to quit the whole thing. Well, I think we pretty much saw what we needed to, though. Because, uh, yeah, I, I was thinking you'd be able to, like, click and install things from the menu. I was hoping, but guess not. Um, interesting. I was going to say, they didn't have to, like, censor the name of the game in the folders, but look, that's what they did here. Doom. D-U-U-M. Heretic is Heretic. Rise of the Triad, that's self-explanatory. Warcraft. That one wasn't censored on here. It just straight up says Warcraft. Warcraft 2. Weird. I got a bunch of level files. It's like some bitmaps to go along with the thing there. Minimaps. I got a trainer. 
Whoops. Yeah. Bunch of levels for Warcraft 2. Something called U Launch? Launcher? Ultimate Launcher? All right, a drivers. Wow, a whole slew of Visa drivers. Video for Windows, WinG, of course, Win32S. All useful stuff. I'm not really sure what for, unless some of these end up using <laughs> things for that, or maybe they're just including stuff that, you know, whatever, gotta fill up the CD. It looks like they've filled up, well, yeah, they wanted to go all in. Almost the full 650 megs. It's got a bunch of cheats, editors, levels, <laughs> more remote ridicule stuff for Rise of the Triad here. Sounds, what is this? Be oh, Beavis and Butt head sounds for Rise of the Triad? <laughs> All right. And yeah, a whole bunch of things in here. Got PK unzip for handling all these zips. We got a, a lot of zips. Oh my goodness, look at all of the wads. I was thinking part one, two, three, four, it'd be like parts of uh, individual like campaign or something, but nah, it just looks like it's randomly split up. Lots of stuff for Doom 2, pretty similar. <laughs> Shells? Yeah, look at that, we got some menus and whatnot for Doom, okay. Yeah, look at that. That brings back some memories. Pretty sure I've used that one back in the day at some point. Came with a copy of Doom 2, I believe. <laughs> that I got purely legally <clears throat> back in the 90s. Anyway, Duke Tool. Ah, here we go. Look at all these. Okay, so this is a remote ridicule thing for... Ah, you can make an RTS file or... convert them, maybe? Oh, this is like a full-on walkthrough, almost. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at all these con files. So these would change the way the game played completely if you wanted. Meat? Pyro? What is this? Okay, so yeah, these are the kind of changes you'd get from applying or just adding con files to your Do3D directory. Lizard troopers will burst into flames and burn when killed. So will the pig cop. He'll also flame when shot. They'll fire mortars when they fly with a jetpack. They choke when shot. Pig cops fire two lasers. Drinking will increase your health by 10 and give you trip mines? <laughs> okay. Uh, there's another name to see in. I'm assuming that's just going to drop it in there and rename it. Yep, that's all it does. That's a simple, simple stuff. These were always fun, tiny little mods, though, to get. Again, back in like AOL kind of days for me. I remember going to like Angel Fire and GeoCity sites, tripod, whatnot, downloading these because they were so small. Look, look at that. Relatively speaking, Got some Duke patches, of course. Got to go to a 1.3D. Wow, 1.0 to a 1.1 and then 1.1 to 1.3D. So I'm assuming this predates Atomic Edition. There is no date. August 96? Yeah, August 96 for the most part. This one's all the way back to May 96. Relatively early pack, all things considered. Dark Forces stuff, Descent stuff, whatever. All these Duke 3D maps, man. 502 objects in here. <laughs> look, at all, look at all these. The My First Maps and My House Maps. <laughs> there were so many of those back in the day. Just random people's homes. I mean, like I said earlier, that's what I did. Our house. All the house ones. People love making their homes. And schools. Yeah, look at it. School.map, I swear I played that one. I know I played a lot of different schools, which is kind of weird, you know, it, kinda, it got weird later in the 90s when you had more and more things going on with first-person shooters in schools and controversies, but uh, for a while there, everybody's just making their homes and schools and workplaces. <laughs> Die hard. Nakitomi Plaza, I suppose. Anyway, let's open up... Uh, that one thing, the MP, MP5. It's just edit art help, what in the world? Ah, oh, here's a readme. It looks like it's gonna be pretty simple though. Yeah, we got a sound file, art file, and some con files. It's about all you need, really. 
Oh, Ian Jones's MP5K add-on for Duke 3D register version only. Even up the odds and get your own back. Uh, whatever. They tried. Uh, so it replaces the pistol. That's the thing. New art, new sound effects, new con file. So we'll just copy things over and that's it. We should have a replacement for the pistol. Neat. Wonder if it actually changes any of the, uh, if it's gonna change like the shooting speed. I'm assuming it's gonna mess with damage modifiers, but <laughs> we'll see. I like how it includes the user.old. Is that just the regular one that Duke 3D comes with? So you don't have to back it up yourself? Yeah. Looks like. I'm just curious what they did. <laughs> Let's see if they added any strings for MP5. Uh huh. So they changed the shoot sound, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm assuming it's still going to be called the pistol then. Right. Yeah. You'd think they'd have changed that too, but... I mean, I guess we could. Okay. Oh. Well, it didn't like that. I wonder if that's because I have Atomic Edition going. These parameters are not working. It might be expecting an older version of Duke 3D, just like 1.3D, maybe? I mean, I suppose that would make sense, considering <laughs> the CD predates Atomic Edition. I, I know, all right, well, let me get uh, Duke 3D original retail version and see what that does. Hopefully that'll work. I want to try this thing out. All right, got the original retail release 1.3D of Duke 3D installed. Let's see if this works any better. I'm assuming it will, and yep. It at least loaded the game. <laughs> and come get some. Come no. get some. Yeah, actually, I just noticed the... Uh, <laughs> got the MP5 just hanging around there, even in the demo, so it's just straight up replaced it. Interesting. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, they definitely upped the damage, that's for sure. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. It's a pretty basic, you know, just artwork and sound swap mostly, but... Looks like it still shoots pretty much the same amount of time as a pistol. I'm not counting ammo, so I don't know if it shoots the same number of rounds necessarily, but... The damage is way higher. Like, look at this. That's just... wow. Oh, yeah, dude, that's nuts. <laughs> Fun. Be proud, Mr. Wu, indeed. Wrong build engine game, but... <laughs> Still valid. Man, I wish there were two of them, like Shadow Warrior. Although those were Uzis. Not MP5s, but you know. Well, SMGs and games like this are always a ton of fun. Of course, not having a reload means that... Uh, well, a reload button. It's just doing it automatically, so... Yeah. Kind of wish there was, actually. Because 
because otherwise you're just stuck with situations like that. Did that guy just die from the ceiling? <laughs> it was like, you know, like, you know, stuck with a situation like, oh, I'd like to reload while there's no monsters. Eh. That's just more modern gaming conceits leaking through into old school games. It doesn't need a reload button. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, let's try, um, let's try just one of those new maps that it came with too, just because why not, right? <laughs> In fact, we, we gotta try one of those house ones because there's so many of them. Which one's the biggest? They're all pretty much the same. Let's go with this one, my house seven. And try that with the MP5. All right, so we should just do, do 3D map. What was it? My house seven dot. Do I need to put dot map? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll put it anyway. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Oh, enemies straight away. Cool. It's a, it's a hefty down. garage in this person's house. Classic misaligned textures, gotta love it. This user con does not allow you to destroy cameras. <laughs> wow, this is so not good. The proportions are way off. I'm like two feet tall here. Look at that uh, water textured couch, classic. Oh man, this brings back memories. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, downloading so many garbage maps off of AOL back in the day and Angel Fire and GeoCities websites. Mine were definitely better. I'm not, I'm not at all ashamed to say. It's not even bragging. They just were objectively better. Oh, that's not good. They didn't even do the sliding door thing. Oh, I mean, they, they do, but it's like the up, the ones that go up and no sounds. Who wants some? Oh, <laughs> what, does this, what does this switch do? Wow, they're just putting weapons cool. anywhere they want. Oh, the no sounds. What is this? <laughs> TV in every room, you know? That's how you know you were balling in the mid 90s. Groovy. Ah. Cool. So those are closets. Was there one in here? I might have missed something. <clears throat> nope. Oh. Yeah, they didn't quite get that going right. Why is there a skull in the bathroom? <clears throat> and nothing else. I like this though. <laughs> you got a skull, a toilet, a wonky mirror, a video camera, and like a sink of sorts. That's your bathroom. I love it. Man, Groovy. just weapons littering every bed. Where are all the enemies? <laughs> Just booze lying around. What is this, a shower? But there's a no smoking toilet. I gotta say, for a house, this is not quite what I was expecting. Who wants some? Uh... Really? Put the movie poster texture. I guess it's supposed to be a, a computer, but uh, you know, there's computery keyboard textures they could have used too, but they didn't. That's okay. Maybe this was made by somebody who was like nine. Who wants some? Ah, they did get the pool working. The way that works is it's effectively like a teleporter. You're teleporting to another set of sectors here. You can see that here. Here's the pool and then you just doink. Anyway.
I do like their glass barriers arbitrarily placed around, that's for sure. Well, that's a house all right, technically. It's just very, very oddly Hail put together. To the king, baby. Groovy. Is there an exit? Who wants some? <laughs> there might not be. Oh. oh, that's that's just a wall you can go through. It didn't make it solid. Well, I'm gonna say there's probably no exit button. This looks like a very unfinished uh, slap together kind of thing. It's about what you'd expect. Honestly, like 90% of the levels you find on CDs like this <laughs> are probably gonna look like this. I'll be honest, I never uh, had any of these Duke Nukem uh, 3D CDs back then. I just downloaded stuff or I would get them in books. I had a couple of different Duke 3D books, uh, the level design handbook, especially, you know, the Matt Tagliaferri thing. That came with a bunch of cool levels on CD as well, so I had those, but anyway. Yeah, mostly just downloaded stuff back in the day. With what little internet we had. Where is it? It's on dial-up AOL. The man, get like an hour in the afternoon to, to do stuff. Like, you go on there, check your email, most important thing. Look for some Duke 3D levels on the, uh, like, games downloading thingy on AOL. You could also download, like, mods and things like that. And check some websites. And, yeah, you're trying to get off before uh, somebody called or something. <laughs> or needed to use the phone. All right, I'm done with this. Can you, can you at least break it? They did do that. That's good. say there's no exit. Well, fun times. And uh, if you want to check out Power Duke for yourself, I've put a download to an archive of it on Internet Archive. Link in the video description. And just grab the ISO and try it out yourself. I'm sure there's a ton of other great stuff on here that, you know, if I saw it, I'd be much more impressed than this garbage level. Uh, but, you know, it's for you to look through. I'm going to continue looking through it myself, I suppose. You know, see if there's anything else. I mean, look at all. There's so many things in here. So many things. Got prisons, something called Quake.map, QTest2, Radman, Rat Trap. I'm sure some of these are great, but I'm sure also, like, most of them are not. Uh, that's just the fun of this. I could honestly make an entire series of just going through these one by one, you know? Oh, I better not say that, because now I'm going to have people asking me for it. <laughs> well, anyway, that's it for this blurb. Thank you for watching.